Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas where we are diligently planning towards success. And this is episode four in the Planner Newbie Basic Series. This video is all about Happy Planner products and the lingo that goes along with it. The Happy Planner products are the products that I actually utilize more often. And since I have had um, a few months, a year or so, delving into and using these products, I wanted to go ahead and show you some of my favorite products and the lingo that goes along with them. Let's head on to the desk. All right, you guys, so I don't want this video to be too, too long. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. First thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that there are three main sizes of the Happy Planner products. The classic size is the middle size. That size is the size that I actually use. The big is what's known as the largest size and it actually fits the same size as the eight by 11 sheet of paper on the inside. This size here, which is the classic, is a little bit smaller than that. I believe it's like a five by seven or a nine by seven. I'm not exactly sure of the measurements, but I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys. And then also we have the mini, which is the smaller size that I use. And I All right, so this is the mini size of the Happy Planner. And you can actually see that it is very, very small, especially in comparison to the classic. So here we go. And with that being the case, you can see how small it is. So this is the mini, this is the classic. The mini is smaller. So you have those sizes, those three sizes, but then also the Happy Planner also has what is known as a skinny classic, which is the classic size in half, which is the same size as my Happenichi here. And then they also have what is called a skinny mini, which is the same length as the mini, but you take a mini sheet and you fold it in half and that will get you the size of the skinny mini. Now, one other thing that I really appreciate about the Happy Planner is not only the variety in sizes, um, but they also have mini layouts as I showed you guys in a previous video. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other items that they offer. One of my favorites, are filler paper and what filler paper is is it just is just blank sheets of paper that you can actually add to your planner this is the classic size these are actually the faith filler paper it just has some flowers and it says notes super super cute but they actually come in all shapes and sizes i have filler paper for the mini which is this size i also have filler filler, uh, filler paper for the skinny classic or the half notes Super, super cute. And I have tons of filler paper, you guys, like a lot, but I just wanted to use these to show you what the sizing is looking like. Um, so this is the same size as a classic, but this would be a skinny classic, this would be a regular classic, and this is the mini size. And then of course, if you cut this in half, that would be the skinny mini. So filler paper, they have blank, they have line, they have dot grid, any type of filler paper you could think of, you can actually find using the Happy Planner. Another thing that I really appreciate is that um, other than the filler paper, you could also get an opportunity to use the weekly box punch. And I actually use this in a few of my videos, but I actually love it because especially if I'm using scrapbook paper and what you do is it says the happy planner on it, just like this. And what you do is you put the scrapbook paper in here and I actually have some. Let me grab some scrapbook paper really quick. Okay, here we go. That way I can show you. So this is the scrapbook paper here. You would actually insert it in here like so. And this is the box here. So when you push this down, you would be able to open this up. And this right here would be your box that fits inside your classic vertical layout. And you would actually be able to use scrapbook paper, maybe even some um, like adhesive on the back 
so that you would be able to use that in your planner when you're decorating. So this punch is something that I really, really love. It is a weekly box punch and they also um, have the punch that will fit the big, but those are the only two that I've seen for vertical. And since I am a vertical planner, I love this. I love this. Another thing that you may actually want to purchase is a happy planner punch. If you get an opportunity to take a look, you'll see that this one is for the classic size. They have plenty different ones, even the big happy planner punch. And then they also, the newest one actually has the markings so that if you get the larger size, you could actually punch for a mini, a classic, or a big. But really what it is, is just like a hole punch, but it's, it actually punches for the happy planner. And so you would actually put the paper inside and then you would punch and you would actually get those umbrellas that you need in order to insert items into your planner. I highly recommend this because if you use a big because you like to use the 8x11 regular sheets of paper size, if you have bills or um, items that you receive in the mail or even just paperwork that you want to hold on to, you can always punch it and put it into a Happy Planner uh, disbound system to hold on to things. And so that is why my mom uh, likes the big because she's able to use her punch and actually make sure that her bills and other paperwork that she needs to keep track of can be punched and inserted into her planner. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the stickers. So this is what we actually call a um, value sticker book. Um, it is, it, a value sticker book because it is just a regular sticker book that we usually see for um, happy planners it has 30 sheets full of stickers and for they call it a value because for the amount of stickers that you get it is a good price most of these usually range around $19.99 of course if you go to your local Joann's Michael's or Hobby Lobby don't shop without a coupon and you can get these for a lot less the cheapest I've ever paid for a value sticker um, pack or a sticker book, which is what we call it, was $3.99, which to me was a great value. And so you get 30 um, pages of stickers in a value sticker pack. And so this is what Happy Planner calls it, a value sticker pack. They also have what is known as multi-accessory pack. So that is what this is. This is a multi-accessory pack. As you can see, it has three sections. This top section has stickers. This middle section has post-it notes. And this last section has um, journaling card inserts that you can actually peel off and add to your planner. Some of them have daily focus sheets on the back. Some of them just have grid paper and you can kind of customize them to be with exactly what you would like them to be. And most times these actually come in different lines. This is the womankind line. This one is the brights. And you know that it is the um, accessory, the multi-accessory pack, because not only that, you have the stickers and then you also have the sticky notes and then the journaling cardstock um, inserts that you can add to your planner. So you have that. Another one of my favorites is journaling stickers. Journaling stickers are really, really, really fun. I actually cut the bottoms off. This one is from the Boss Babe line. This one is from the Wrong Wrong line. And what it is, is they are journaling stickers because these are regular stickers that you would think that you would fit into your vertical layout planner, but they actually open up where you actually have more room to write. And so these actually come in handy when you have the box, but you actually have to write quite a few things down for that day, that month, that week. And they come in different colors, designs, and different um, lines as far as the Happy Planner Girl line and so forth. And so I just love this. They even have different sizes. You can have bigger ones, or longer ones that take up two vertical boxes. So I actually use this when I have a lot of things to do, but then I also like to add this for a decorative insert um, because I just feel like it is so, so cute. Make your own happy. So I love these and they have become a staple in my collection. Okay, another type of sticker book 
Well, another type of um, item from the Happy Planner that includes stickers is the accessory book. Now, the accessory book includes a notepad, it includes stickers and sticky notes. And when you open it up, you'll see that this is the notepad here. You have your post-it notes or sticky notes here. And then you also have your stickers here. And this is the wrong, wrong accessory book. And um, most of the stickers in the accessory book um, are individualized. Sometimes you'll get boxes, but most times you get like a lot of clear stickers and you may get a lot of like icon or decorative stickers. And so these are great to add to your collection. So I have the accessory book in this one and then I also have another accessory book as well. So different um, like, you know, collections that within the Happy Planner will have accessory books to go along with them. Okay, we have three more that we're going to talk about. First is the Mega Book. Okay, so this is the Mega Mega Book or or Mega Sticker Book Sticker Book, and this is a awesome value because you get a lot of stickers. This one has five thousand sixty six stickers, and you have so many stickers in here. I always recommend that you get a Mega Book when you are first starting to plan because. Pretty much anything that you're going to need, whether it's a checklist flag, whether it's a decorative box, whether it's letters, you most likely, quotes, will have almost everything that you need in a mega book. These actually uh, retail, I believe, um, at $49.99. It says $60 value. Of course, I always wait for a sale or I get it from my local Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I believe for this one, I paid less than $15. So... If you are patient, you can get some really good deals. Okay, so these are sticker pads. I like sticker pads because they kind of give me the idea of a sample of a sticker book or of a collection before I actually buy the bar, so to speak. So I actually get an opportunity to pick up some of these. These sticker pads usually have anywhere from um, 25 to like 45 pieces. And you get these small sticker pads and they pretty much have the stickers in them for vertical layout or whatever layout that is featured for that actual collection. And you only get like a sample. You get a, like a small sample of what the stickers in that collection are gonna be like. And these are always good, especially if you don't really like the whole collection, but you like a few of the stickers. Sometimes check out the sticker pads. You may actually be super surprised. And one thing that I like about this, this one was $2.97. But most times you can get the sticker pad regular price, I believe about $4.99 or $5.99, depending on the collection. So I have Pastels, which is the Wrong Wrong collection. I have Boss Babe, which is also Wrong Wrong. Every Day, which is also Wrong Wrong. And then this was the student collection I love today. So sticker pads, awesome. All right, and then lastly, one thing that I wanted to show you guys is the organizational labels. So this is actually from me and my big ideas, which is a uh, part of the Happy Planner. Um, but... You know, they also have organizational labels. These are labels that I actually picked up when I was doing my pantry organization. And so I actually picked this up from my local Hobby Lobby as well. Um, or you can actually order them online from the Happy Planner website. But these are awesome. And so you will actually see that they have some for pantry. They have some for craft rooms. They have some for offices. So when you get an opportunity, you may want to take a look at their organization labels which are also stickers, but they are so functional. So I actually enjoyed using this and I hold on to it because they have so many of the same stickers that I will get an opportunity to definitely utilize this even more as I go deeper into organizing my pantry. So those are some of the products that I've enjoyed so far. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is a few items that are accessories. So, of course, I still have some filler paper. These, This is dot um, grid filler paper. So, I really love that. This is classic size. They also have pocket folders. So, I really appreciate getting an opportunity to have pocket folders that can be inserted into your planner. Also, they also have... Okay, and then we also have what is called the dashboard stickers. So a dashboard really is like a divider. And so with 
the you can actually purchase Happy Planner Dashboard separately if you'd like, which I have also got an opportunity to do that. You would actually see that in my classic. So I do have some dashboards here. This is one here that says, Hello Beautiful. And then I have one here that says, Girl, You're Going Places. And then I also have one at the back here that says, well, it just has the shoes on it. So these are the wrong, wrong dashboards that I had purchased. But also you can actually get a dashboard stickers, which means that there is a sticker book, a mini sticker book, most likely. It kind of reminds me of that right side of an accessory pack, and it's actually adhered to a dashboard. And so the purpose of that is so that you can actually just pop it into your planner. When you are done using all these stickers, you are able to peel the dashboard off because the adhesive is just some adhesive on there. You can remove the adhesive and peel the dashboard off. But this is also awesome for planning on the go. You can pop this right into your planner. And if you're going to be traveling and you don't want to bring a heap of sticker books with you or you want to pack light, you can just add some dashboards into your planner so that you can keep it moving until you can return home. So we're going to move on to the pockets. So there's two different types of pockets that you can actually purchase. These are the um, pockets... These are the pocket envelopes. So these envelopes can actually be attached to your planner because as you can see, um, you have your umbrellas there where you, or where you can put the discs. They open up and I have something inside there because I was using these for cash envelopes and then you have this here where you can actually put, use this for receipts, you can use this for um, coupons, anything that you need to put inside your planner, even some extra cash that you wanna store away you can use that. So you receive about three of these inside of a um, purchase. Whenever you purchase the envelopes, you receive about three. And then not only that, you also can pick up the adhesive pockets. Now these adhesive pockets are actually different from the envelopes because these pockets, um, you can actually adhere to the inside of your planner. So you have this part for the sticky part and you can actually add a pocket anywhere you'd like in your planner, whether that's on one of your dashboards, whether that's on the front cover or the back cover, the inside cover, anywhere on your planner or inside your planner that you'd like, you can actually use these adhesive pockets and add a pocket in your planner to make planning easier for you or to even keep up with things that you want to keep nearby. So I actually have that as well. You guys, I believe that that is all of the items from the Happy Planner that I wanted to feature in this video. I feel like that was a lot. There are still tons more of items that you can actually go on the Happy Planner website and take a look at. But I did want to go ahead and let you guys know what the options are when it comes to some of these products that you can go ahead and use. And I really enjoy getting an opportunity to share all of this stuff with you guys. I have so much more items, but don't hesitate to make sure that you check out Southern Tea Times video because she may even give it, get an opportunity to cover a lot of the different terms, lingos, and accessories that Happy Planner offers that I did not get an opportunity to cover in this video. So thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and head back to the front so we can end this video properly. Thank you guys so much for giving me an opportunity to share some of the Happy Planner lingo and terms that go along with that brand. I hope you get an opportunity to check out my Planner Bestie Southern Tea Times video for her episode four as well because I am sure that she's going to cover some terms that I did not. I don't have all Happy Planner products, but the things that I do have that I use more often, I did want to share with you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe to Crystal Clear Ideas because we are on the road to 2K and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.